Hey, phone. Yeah, any. There's so many numbers. You guys like the Bruins? Yeah. Oh, you know, they're in the Stanley Cup. Are they? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> My wife and I were at the game the other night. Um, what do you call it? Game four. And we have this song going back that we're going to run to somebody that we see first. You know, so we're in Boston, right? And I see my buddy, I'm like, oh, I'm going to win. And I yell out to him, I'm like, Saleh, Saleh! 50 people turn around. <laughs> I say, no, Sean Sullivan! 25 people turn around. Because, you know, Sully's a pretty common name. She sees her friend Cassandra, right? She's like, Cassandra, Cassandra! Cassandra comes over. I know I have to get my buddy's attention because I'm going to lose 50 bucks. I throw my hot dog at him. I miss him. I hit three Sullys in the meantime. Cassandra comes over, I lose 50 bucks, and I get my ass kicked by three guys named Sully. After, after the game, I'm over at the bar having a couple beers. My buddy comes over and he goes, what the fuck happened to you? I said, I got my ass kicked. I, he said, why didn't you call me? <laughs> <laughs> guys, put your hands together. He's a regular here. He's been here every open mic that we've had, and he's done a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Bernard. Okay, actually he's lying, I missed the last one, but I won't hold that against him. I want to thank all ten people for coming out tonight. It's a real intimate setting. And looking around, I think I can get away with this next bit of material without ending up like Matthew Shepard. And by the one laugh, one person got that reference, so okay, fine. Uh, as it turns out, much to my father's chagrin, I am what some people would refer to as a flaming homosexual. I know, it looks like I'm in the KKK, and this is not hitting whatsoever. This guy's laughing, I actually thought he'd be the one trying to tie me to a fence and laugh me in Wyoming, but... Later, alright, very good. So anyway... What was I going to say? So, like I said, much to his chagrin. All my friends have always been like, Oh, you're so lucky. It must be like hanging out with the guys all the time. No. No, all a gay guy is is a woman with a cock. It's all the same bullshit. Eh, why aren't you home? Eh, what's going on? What's the problem? I don't know. What is the fucking problem? Can't we just play video games and do something? What? Everything has to be a problem? Wow. This is not doing good. All right, I'm skipping this bullshit. I'm going right to my next bit of stuff. I don't know if anyone's aware, but this week is actually bike week up in Laconia, New Hampshire. I don't know if anyone here is a rider, but I am, or not. Yes, it's like a homosexual Harley riding trash truck driver. I'm like Neo in the Matrix. I'm the anomaly. So uh, I got to tell you, I, I hate Harley culture. Can't fucking stand it. You got all these guys that work in an office nine to five, and then they get on a bike, a big tough guy. Oh, don't fuck with me, I'm on my holly. Shut up! You don't have to have your boots and your fucking chaps and all your bullshit on to ride your bike. Just get on the fucking thing and ride it. See how I'm dressed right now? Like a slob. But, I'm gonna ride my bike like this, I don't give a fuck. I just tie all people up. That's what, I went up there once, last time I would go up there. I don't give a fuck, everyone's running around, all the bikes are too fucking loud. Like mine. <laughs> you know, I can't escape it. Oh boy, it's a tough room to go. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the pity laugh. That was nice. I'll buy you a drink later. Um, and don't worry, it's not. I'm not hitting on you. We can watch Lifetime. We can watch Golden Girls. And and It'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, so anyway, last summer I happened to lose a little bit of weight, which clearly I found again. And I was going down the highway, and my neck actually started flapping in the breeze. <laughs> which was really bittersweet because it meant I lost some weight, but I can't ride down the highway like this, and I'm not going to wear a scarf like Amelia Earhart. I just don't need to try to cross the Atlantic on a motorcycle. I feel stupid. <laughs> Speaking of losing weight and gaining it back, I'm a little ashamed of myself because I don't think I can fit on any rides at Six Flags right now, which is tragic because I like roller coasters, but I am not about to put myself in position and hit my peas really hard. Put myself in the position to end what the f to put myself in the position to end up having to do the walk of shame. That's when you got like three high school kids jumping on the shoulder harness to try to squeeze into the fucking thing. You're not sure if your eyeballs or a turret's gonna pop out of your ass. And then you have to get off and lumber your fat ass down the walkway and then eat your shame away with a cheeseburger and just you know make it a circular problem, a circular or cyclical whatever the fuck. You know what I'm trying to say. See, here's a problem. I also have a speech impediment, which, believe it or not, it's a lisp, but it's not in any way related to being gay. 
It just, and the drier my mouth gets, the worse it gets. I, it's, you have no idea what it's like to try to say xylophone and be afraid you're going to bite the tip of your tongue off. And it's just not fun. Uh, what was I going to say? So you notice, kind of dress like a slob, and you'd say, oh, look, your shirt's kind of tattered. It must be laundry day. Nah, it's the last one that fits. <laughs> it's kind of long, and it's kind of got a lot of room in it. Same problem I have with my work clothes. They're all getting tight. I don't even button my pants anymore when they stay up. <laughs> That's when you know you got a problem. It's really embarrassing, because I drive a trash truck, like I said, and I haul dumpsters out of Boston all day. And they got to reach up to open them and close them in. Well, the gut falls out. It looks kind of like a cow litter, but a little bit more embarrassing. Because I'm not supposed to have that, you know what I'm saying? Did I hear an aw? What happened? Don't feel bad for me. What, 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 you think this happened? Oh, it's a glandular problem. Yes. If cheeseburgers are a gland, yes, it's a glandular problem. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, so I was talking about work. And my clothes not fitting, and I got lost. Hang on, hang on. I got my cheat sheet. This is what open mic is when they have nothing else to say. Oh yeah, sorry, well, like I was saying, I was talking about my job. My job fucking sucks. I get up at 2 in the morning going to work and I'm lucky if I'm out by 2 to 3 or 4 in the afternoon. I just drive around all day long, open up dumpsters, getting full of shit. Hauling out of supermarkets and um, hotels. You know what's in hotels? Nothing but condoms and feminine napkins. You open up one of those doors and that stuff starts pouring out and you go, oh wow, well, that's wonderful. Wish you had a biohazard suit in the supermarket, it's all spoiled milk. You're sitting there, you walk around, okay? You're sitting there, you walk around, you're like, oh, that's lovely. I smell like I just walked to Ripson's Dairy after the cows were dead for about three weeks. It happened today, actually. Wow. Okay, good. Um, no, anyway, this stuff usually works. We'll see how this works out. So I was walking to Walmart the other day and I saw this woman that was just a complete genetic abortion. And uh, I swear to God, she looked like she was designed by Jim Henson. I took one look at this woman and I swear she wiped back to front to make the front smell better. If you looked at her panties, you'd swear to God it looked like a tablecloth that had a chocolate cake spilled on one side and a roast beef three-way on the other. She looked like an abortion that crawled out of the bucket and lived. I'm telling you right now, she's got more facial hair than I do. I'd be willing to bet she could do cornrows in her ass here. That is just not a pretty sight. She is a mess. I bet you if you stepped on a glazed donut, that's what something else looks like. Get it? It's a clam joke, which is a code word for vagina for anyone that's not following along. And uh, I'm going to finish off with uh, this one that I like doing. A woman's walking down the street, and she's got an aborted fetus on her head. Another woman walks by and goes, oh, I like your hat. The other woman goes, thanks, I made it myself. <laughs> thanks everybody for coming out, you were great. Have a good night. Thank you. 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 Thank you.